So obviously we recently got The Sims 4 My First Rent Boy stuff reveal trailer come out and when I first saw it, I'm not gonna lie, I still hold this opinion. It doesn't look like an expansion pack's worth of gameplay content. It looks like a horse ranch situation where, you know, it's a game pack really, but they've upsold it as an expansion pack. But we found out a little bit more information. So they've revealed this, like, it's not even a trailer. It's just like a mini bit of information. So they've shown off some crazy sim stuff as well as some brand new traits that we've got coming with the pack being cringe. Then we've got some tattoos and some more outfits. We've got generous. We've got nosy. We've got wise. Then we've got some kids and infants stuff, including a kid exclusive trait, child of the village. They've confirmed we're getting five traits and four new aspirations. That is a lot for The Sims 4. That feels like a Sims 3. Okay, The Sims 3. If it was a Sims 3 pack, it would have had 10 aspirations and 20 traits. But it feels like it's coming with a lot. And apparently the wise trait is going to be elder exclusive as well as the child of the village trait being child exclusive. Now we know here that the multi-family dwellings are just going to be two households. So you can't have an apartment complex with like multiple different households. It will only be two. And you can see in this screenshot here, I've made it bigger to show you. You can, you can see there's like a blue line and a pink line. So it looks like you're going to be able to zone different kinds of rooms as different dwellings and then if it's not zoned then it must be the communal area. The only like criticism I have with this okay sometimes as builders in The Sims 4 sometimes we make something that's like a room but it's not a room or we make something that is a room but it's not like officially labeled as a room to bypass some of the issues with The Sims 4 built mode. I hope that doesn't affect it too much. We can also see a tuk-tuk over here. Now The Sims 4 never has had vehicles never will have vehicles so I'm assuming it's just dressing but another thing okay at the bottom left of this you'll see like a is it like a for sale sign again is this decoration or is it going to be real i'm hoping it's not decoration but i mean like looking at the build stuff guys i really love all the build stuff i think it looks amazing but even though you are only going to be able to create like a duplex with two households i'm really hoping like a modder can like make it like three or four do you know what i mean but i feel like two is and it's not enough because it's not Sims 3 open well, but I have a like strong feeling it's going to be the next best thing, like the closest thing to an open world. It also makes me wonder, okay, if they're able to pull this off and in it like in an expansion pack, okay, could they have like updated the Sims 4 base game to make it so that like every single lot in a neighborhood, like you can enter like you could with this pack? Because with this pack, you can enter your neighbors a lot without a loading screen. I, like I'm assuming there's no loading screen it would be pretty it'd be like false advertisement if there was <laughs> but assuming there isn't like could they like have just updated the base game so that all of the lots in the same neighborhood area have no loading screen because if they could do that with this surely they could do it with the base game i just feel like it needs to be a thing do you know what i mean the situation where i genuinely think this will be good is if you make a lot where like two people of the same family live in the same building because that does happen in a lot of places in the world when i went to turkey there was like this entire apartment complex but like all of the households in there were family members. They just lived in like the different flats in the complex. But the whole thing was basically owned by an entire family. And like, wouldn't it be cool to do something like that in The Sims 4? I'm also hoping it makes the game feel a lot more alive in terms of like, I don't know, just having dynamics and stories between households because The Sims, okay, the biggest difference between The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 is that The Sims 3 is almost like a town life simulator, whereas The Sims 4 is like a, a lot simulator, if you know what I mean. The Sims 3 simulated life in a town. The Sims 4 simulates an individual sim in an individual lot. And I'm hoping that this pack with this whole, you know, closer than ever before. <laughs> Sorry, this is my impression of cheesy American marketing. Closeness can create harmony or drama, drama, drama. I really need to work with my American accent. Dr drama, drama. <laughs> I'm just hoping it gives your sims a little bit more, you know, adept outside of their household. Obviously, this bustling and beautiful world will obviously be tons of set dressing. All of this in this screenshot right here, guys. I guarantee you all of this is fake. All of it. 
You won't be able to click on anything. It's all bollocks. It's all a facade. That is The Sims 4 for you. So I don't have my hopes up for the world. For me, I am a gameplay simmer. As a gameplay simmer, not much of a builder or cast person. I'm really hoping this landlord system is going to be in depth. I did say in one of my videos before, I played an incredible like landlord's rental mod, which is so realistic. It is so in depth. And the way the mod is, it feels more in depth than what EA have described here. But the reason why I feel a little bit excited, just a little bit, it feels like it comes with a lot more stuff than Horse Ranch did. I mean, Horse Ranch came with horses, okay. But outside of the horses themselves, all we really got was nectar making, which is pretty minor. I get the impression that for rent will come with just like a little bit more. Like I get the impression it's going to be more than just city living 2.0. I mean, I'm hoping so because I have seen many simmers describe for rent like from the offset as city living 2.0 when the first trailer was dropped. I watched the trailer live on YouTube on the premiere and there were loads of comments saying this is city living 2.0. But I get the impression, okay, honestly, that it might be a bit better than that. I mean, I said that when like horse ranch was first announced. So I was like, oh my God, this actually looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> that it was shy. So who knows? It is my dream to be a rent boy. And with The Sims 4 City Living, I didn't feel like a rent boy. I wanted to feel more like a rent boy. Like, you know, your bills come, but in The Sims 4 base game anyway, you got lot taxes. So it's basically the same thing. I'm really hoping that like the rental system here is a bit different. I'm also wondering how compatible it is going to be with City Living. I'm really hoping there's some crossover. I feel like they have to do it. Also, it says you can own multiple rentals. Okay, are you going to be able to like rent out a normal house? Because that's what I want. EA, if you're watching, please like code it in like rush last minute. I just want to be able to rent a house. I don't want to rent like a, a two person dwelling. Like I just want to rent a normal house. This just like for me. And I want to be a landlord and rent houses out to prospective tenants. And I want to own multiple lots so that, you know, I could live in one lot, but I can own my own vacation lot in a different world. And it's mine because I own it. But I, I don't know if this pack's going to be that deep but I'm hoping it is. We know that the talented Maxis developers have moved on to the Project Renee Sims 5 project so The Sims 4 has less talent on it. That's bitchy but it's true. You know it's true. I may be a bitch but I'm a real bitch. I don't lie. So I don't know if it will be that in depth in terms of like you know landlords rentals but there is more to it okay. Not just that you know hopscotch crap that you see in the marbles okay because that's nothing. I know the Willow Creek suburban bitches are going to cream themselves over it. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, you can do hopscotch in your white picket fence fantasies. That's lovely. But the full rent pack will also come with some like ocean water related activities. Something that we haven't seen since the island living pack. So it doesn't just seem like, you know, it's apartments. It seems like it may actually come with more. We know there will also be a pool party, which, okay, in my opinion, pool party should be base game. But a pool party coming with the pack sounds like a good idea. We've got, okay, like rice cookers and it looked like a green tea. I don't know, like pouring green tea. We also got squat toilets, which I actually think is quite cool. Guys, I don't know if you've ever used a squat toilet, but like they are horrendous. And before all the wokes come at me and say, you're being offensive to somebody else's culture. Guys, when I lived in Japan, there were a lot of squat toilets and all the Japanese, like they hate it as well. They hate it. They can't stand it. Squat toilets, like they are vile. <laughs> They're horrible. You have to be really flexible. And I want to put my sim through the torture. I do think it's funny. It is all supposed to come with a potluck. I didn't know what a potluck luck was because it's quite American sounding. Like in the UK, we just say, oh, bring, bring some nibbles along. <laughs> we don't say potluck. We just say, oh, bring, bring some nibbles along with you. <laughs> so I'm excited to bring a few like nibbles. Although, you know, social events in The Sims 4, they don't work. They don't at all. So we're going to have to wait and see. I am also, okay, this is a weird thing to be excited about. I'm excited about my Sims dying of um, genital warts. Those little mushrooms growing on them. That is so much fun. The fact that this pack comes with like a mold growth system where you you know, your properties get moldy. I feel like everyone's either going to hate it or love it. I hope it's not like Buster Dust, that hoovering kit where like your house gets dusty all the time. I hope it's not going to be like moldy all the time, but I think it's pretty cool. They're, I'm assuming they're going to implement it as some kind of like lot trait or lot challenge. I'm just excited to add like apartments to like all the other worlds. I think it's a really good idea. Worlds that deserve them, like the Get Famous world desperately needs them. And like, I feel like finally we can. I do feel like two dwellings is not enough. I personally think they should have gone with three, but that's just my opinion. This pack, okay, it weirdly feels like the spiritual successor to The Sims 2 
Apartment Life. I have played The Sims 2 Apartment Life on YouTube. I can't say it was like the most incredibly fun pack I've ever played. But to give you a rundown, thanks to Sims Wiki, up to four families can live in the same building. So compared to The Sims 4, The Sims 2, okay, apartment living is objectively better because they literally halved it in The Sims 4. <laughs> Apparently the better game. So I will be honest about that. Sims can get roommates in this pack. Now, in The Sims 4, you need to discover university for roommates. So it is a bit split apart. They even have a roommate satisfaction meter, which just shows how much they enjoy. Oh my God, the, like The Sims 2 was so in depth. We've got social class. This is like so British. <laughs> Towny social groups being socialite, tech, jock, bohemian, and gearhead. The kinds of people who occupy certain apartments depending on their social class, which is cool. The reputation system, we've already got that in The Sims 4 to be fair. And witches, we've already got that in The Sims 4. It did also come with Murphy beds, which is in Sims 4 Tiny Living. Oh, apparently it also came with butlers, which is in Sims 4 Vintage Glamour. It looks like another Sims 2 pack has been split up into 25 different packs in The Sims 4. But like objectively, okay, I get the impression that The Sims 4 My First Rent Boy Together stuff will be like obviously a bigger pack than this in general. I'm hoping so at least. Guys, what do you think? Like I'm really struggling to understand like what the general consensus is about this pack. Are we like, are we excited or do we not care? Like, can you just let me know? Thank you very much. See you in the next one.